Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be making a Korean style twisted donut called Gwabeki. Let's get started. The things you're going to be needing are 3 cups of all-purpose flour, half teaspoon of kosher salt, two and a quarter teaspoon of yeast, one cup of warm milk, two tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of granulated white sugar, one egg, and oil for frying. You're also gonna need a quarter cup of ultra fine white sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon to roll our donuts in after they're fried. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is add your warm milk into a large bowl and your melted butter. And you're gonna whisk this in together. And to this, you're going to add your two tablespoons of white sugar. You're gonna make sure that your sugar is dissolved into the warm milk and melted butter. To this mixture, you're going to add your yeast. Spread your yeast completely on the surface of the uh, liquid. You don't want it to be in one spot. And you're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes for your yeast to bloom. You'll know when your yeast has bloomed when um, your liquid becomes foamy. This takes usually about eight to 10 minutes. So our yeast has bloomed. So now you're going to add your salt and you're gonna crack your egg in. And you're gonna whisk this together. So our egg and salt is combined, and now you're going to add your three cups of flour in. And now you're going to use your spatula and fold your flour in until a dough forms. So now that we have our dough formed, we're going to knead it. So you're going to need a little bit more flour and you're just going to sprinkle it on your surface so the dough doesn't stick and you're going to transfer your dough onto your surface. Now you're going to knead this for around three to five minutes until you have a smooth shiny ball of dough so i have kneaded this dough ball for five minutes and now you're going to put it back in your bowl to rise so you just place your dough ball into your bowl and you're just going to let this sit for about an hour or and to an hour and a half to rise. You wanna cover it with either cling film, a clean kitchen towel, or aluminum foil, and just let it sit until your dough has doubled in size. While your dough is resting, we're gonna make our cinnamon sugar top. So here I have a quarter cup of ultra fine granulated white sugar, and I'm gonna add around two tablespoons of cinnamon to the sugar. And you're just going to whisk this in to, and make sure it is an even color. Okay, 
If you don't have the ultra fine granulated white sugar, you can use regular um, granulated white sugar. And this is going to be our topping. Um, we're going to roll our donuts in this after we deep fry them. So it has been one hour since um, we let our dough to rest. Um, so now you're going to sprinkle more flour on top of our dough and put it back onto your surface. And you're going to release the gas from the dough by kneading it for two to three minutes. You're going to put it back in your bowl and let it rest for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you're going to knead your dough for 3 to 5 minutes. You're going to divide your dough into 12 equal parts. Now you're going to make each of your parts into balls. gonna roll your dough balls into a long about five inches or so uh, long tube so that we can twirl them So to twist your donuts, you're going to take one of your uh, ropes and just twist them in your hand like this. And you're going to lay them down and just make, um, just twist them on top of each other. And that's one of your donuts. You're going to do these to the rest of your dough rope. I have twisted all of our um, dough ropes into these donuts and now we're going to let them proof for another 30 minutes so your donuts will be more fluffier after you fry them. Just cover them up and just let them sit for another 30 minutes. Here we have the proof donuts and here I have uh, vegetable oil heating up. So we're going to add our donuts and we're going to fry these three at a time. until they are golden brown on the outside. After they're done, place them on a cooling rack for the oil to drain 
and then we're going to coat it in our cinnamon sugar. After the oil has been drained off a little bit, take each donut and roll it in your cinnamon sugar. And that's our donuts ready. I know this recipe took a long time, but I promise you the end result is worth it. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.